thank you all at the Ari Fold Project. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Ishai. Thank you, everyone that put this night together. It's just, um, it's the greatest honor I've ever received. So thank you. Um, it's just overwhelming being here. I don't really know how to absorb it. But I, it's an opportunity for me to give honor and thanks and appreciation and credit to all the people that really deserve it. Because everything that I've accomplished is only because of the people that surround me. And so I didn't move to that mountain alone. I've done nothing alone. If I'm getting an award, Tehila Gimpel is getting an award. My wife, my best friend, my partner in everything that we do. Um, it's not that she allows me to do or faith in the world, my mission in the world. She is a full partner in everything that I do. Every plant that we planted, every Torah that we teach, every mountain that we conquer, everything that I've ever done, Tehillah has been a full partner in everything. And um, well, everyone knows that she's brilliant, but she's also the most courageous, the toughest, the strongest, the most giving, the most self-sacrifice, just, just constantly giving beyond herself a pillar of integrity and truth, just a model of how a Jewish woman should be in the world. So thank you, Tehila, for nothing in my life would be as it is without you. Um, Yossi Levit and Roni Moshe, they're the other two partners at Chabat Rugot. All of the beauty and the style and the, the architecture, they were the first Jews on that mountain. And uh, if there's any credit given to us, then they deserve the credit as well. Um, I mean, the list is so long. And so I don't have all night to thank all of my friends and all of my family. But um, Ari and I, there's a long list of people. We call them the team. And it's people all over the world. And it's people that are all in this together. It's like um, they're our best friends. They're our biggest supporters. They are... Um, our biggest encouragement with us every step along the way. And it's like we're um, a brotherhood. We're a, a fellowship. We are an army. And Ari Fold was a general in our army. And we moved to the farm and just weeks later he was taken from us and it was such a trauma for all of us. But somehow his spirit continues to give us koach, to continues to give us light. And I think about this movement of people that are all working together to support each other, to continue in furthering the story of the Jewish people, continue to strengthen Israel. What brings us all together? What is that common thread that sort of ties us all in this amazing tapestry of this movement of people that are so committed to Eretz Israel, inspired like Ari Fold? And for me, I've been trying to think of the answer of that when I heard that we were going to get this, and I tried to channel what would the message that Ari would want me to share tonight. You know, the first time where Ari and I really became friends, we were arrested together in a demonstration for Givate Tam. We sat next to each other in the police car. And that's when we realized, oh, we're on the team. And at least for me and for my connection with Ari and for everyone here in this evening, it's an unreasonable faith and belief in the destiny of the Jewish people that we as a people were chosen. We as a people were chosen to live by the Torah. We were chosen to raise families by the Torah, to build communities founded upon the Torah, to build a country based on the values of the Torah that would build a society that will be so special and so unique, so kadosh that God's presence will literally dwell among us and that society will inspire the entire world. And so today, you know, modern society, they're like, do as little as possible and try to get as much as you can. And I feel like Ari's message, such a Torah message, it was do as much as you possibly can. Carry the biggest responsibility that you can manage and carry the load for the Jewish people and keep on going. And... like when you're young you can just carry yourself learn to do that that's good get a little bit older can carry the responsibility for your family then maybe your community hopefully eventually for your country it's like pick up the biggest rock that you can find 
hoist it on your shoulders and start walking up the mountain. And then when you get to the top of the mountain and you finally put it down, you should know that you're building Yerushalayim. You are building God's kingdom on earth. And then when you're done, go back down that mountain and find another rock. And maybe this time it'll be bigger. And the more responsibility each Jew takes to push the story forward, the more Yerushalayim is being built in our days. And on that path, you'll find your strength, you'll find your growth, you'll find your happiness, you'll find a fire that still burns, that Ari clearly had that he was sharing with all of us. <laughs> if life is easy, you're living it wrong. A Torah from Ari Fold that has resonated around the world. Ari lived that ideal in his life. There were times where the responsibility that he shouldered for Israel and the Jewish people was personally overwhelming for him. And then in his death, he became the Jewish idea. He became the Lion of Zion a warrior for Israel, a defender of the Jewish people, a guardian of the Torah, a protector of the land of Israel. He was one of Israel's greatest spokesmen, a teacher of Torah who lived the Torah, who lived a shining example of what it is to be a proud Jew in Eretz Israel, a light to everyone around him. And so I only hope one day to be worthy of this award.